team opened up the 15th annual Keith LeClaire Classic this weekend, but the first two days of the tournament didn't go the Pirates way as they fell to Pepperdine and Missouri State in back-to-back -back days. But good news for the Pirates is there's always Sunday to try to turn things around. As Cliff Godwin and company looking to end the weekend on a high note, they were taking on St. Joseph's this afternoon. Chris Holba got the start and he continued to dominate. Gets the inning-ending strikeout here, one of his eight on the day. Holba has yet to allow run in his over 18 innings of work this season. And he got some help from the defense here in the second. The chopper goes to third and Connor Litton, the barehanded snag and throws a laser across the diamond to get the out. Big play there from Connor Litton. At the plate, ECU would break through in the third. Turner Brown singles back up the middle. The throw coming to the plate, but it's going to be cut off. That allows Bryant Packard to score. That made it 1 0 in favor of the Pirates. Bottom six we go. It was 3 0 when freshman Seth Cadell gets a hold of this one, sends it high and deep to left. The solo shot is the first of Cadell's career. It helps the Pirates bounce back. ECU ends the weekend with a 9 0 win over St. Joe's. You know, the last two days uh, we weren't really playing um, pirate baseball, you know, but I think we did a really good job of flipping the switch today. Coach really talked about that a lot in the team meeting. I think we did a good job of it. It was awesome. Um, you know, we did, like I said, we did a lot of stuff that was uncharacteristic of us on Friday and Saturday, so it was just huge for us to not let that bleed into today and, and finish the weekend strong.